so etc or limestone especially limestone marbles etc so these are the general available places this calcium carbonate is prepared from lime water for this lime water the passing of carbon dioxide into the calcium hydroxide produce calcium carbonate that is your first preparation method caoh taken twice plus co2 gives rise calcium carbonate or or na2co3 sorry nacl is passed into carbon dioxide it gives na2co3 so so this preparation is not important only first preparation the carbon dioxide is passed into the calcium hydroxide gives calcium carbonate so this is the preparation method of only one preparation method of calcium carbonate and next one this calcium carbonate it is usually react with dilute acids like caoa cacio3 is reacted with hcl that is a dilute acid is gives cacl2 plus co2 plus h2o or whenever the calcium carbonate is reacted with sulfuric acid gives calcium sulfate plus co2 plus h2o so means this calcium carbonate is reacted with dilute acids like hcl sulfuric acid it liberate carbon dioxide gas so means the calcium carbonate is reacted with dilute acid produce carbon dioxide and next one uses uses of calcium carbonate this calcium carbonate is used in the preparation of toothpaste and next one and also prepared preparing and using in chewing gums and uh, cosmetic materials various types of cosmetic materials are prepared from calcium carbonate and it is also a very important material in kal dar ke it is also very important material in manufacturing of manufacturing or the constructing of buildings and next one is fourth one is gypsum gypsum salt so gypsum salt its chemical name is calcium sulfate hemihydrate calcium sulfate hemihydrate is called as gypsum salt this sir calcium sulfate hemihydrate is called as plaster of paris okay this plaster of paris is prepared from cal gypsum salt that is gypsum salt formula is caso4 2h2o caso4 2h2o is called as gypsum okay in that we discuss first only what is the uses of plaster of paris okay the plaster of paris chemical name is calcium sulfate hemihydrate gypsum salt chemical name is calcium sulfate dihydrate now this gypsum is heated at 373 kelvin it lasts water molecule produce calcium sulfate hemihydrate that is commonly called as plaster of paris on strongly heating it finally gives calcium sulfate the formation of calcium sulfate is called as dead brunt 
dead brunt plaster okay now preparation here caso4 2h2o on heated at 373 kelvin produce caso4 of h2o and further heating heated at a drastic condition it gives caso4 the formation of caso4 is called as dead brunt plaster this is your dead brunt plaster this is your plaster of paris this is gypsum okay means the plaster of paris is prepared from gypsum through a heating at 373 kelvin okay next uses so what are the uses of plaster of paris so this plaster of paris is used in the manufacturing or the constructing of buildings and as well as plasters it is used as a plaster and also it is used in ornamental works and used in cosmetics materials so etc so this is a very important material during in the cement this is a very odd substance when or the when or this plaster of paris your addition of water molecule it becomes hard substance so the addition of water in within the 5 to 10 minute it is converted to hard substance okay that is the main use of plaster of paris and next one is cement this cement is an important material for the construction of building and next one this cement is prepared by joseph aspidin aspidin so means pidin means the cement is first prepared by a scientist that is joseph aspidin so the important raw materials for cement is limestone and clay the important raw material for cement is limestone and clay next one these limestone and clay is heated in higher temperatures produce produce clinker cement so means the mixing of limestone and clay at a higher temperature it produce clinker cement for this clinker cement the addition of 2 to 3 percent gypsum it becomes hard it becomes hard this cement is similar to a portland cement it is similar to portland cement okay why it is similar to portland cement because the portland the cement is a similar to portland because it containing its structure is naturally coming from limestone next one the portland cement is a mixture of three components one is tricalcium tricalcium silicate and next one tricalcium sorry dicalcium silicate and tri-aluminium tri aluminium silicate so these are the mixtures 